Hey you guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Justin's Reviews More. We're back at it again, another brand new review just for you guys. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. We got McKellen's Lowland Scotch here today. All right, it is a very beautiful single malt, um, good natured, easy on the palate. This clean citrusy drum is the perfect starting point, starting point of the single malt journey. All right, now we do have the Highland up here. I think it's, yep, the Highland. Uh, up there, so we now have this one. So there is, I think, two more on here, but we'll get to those here in just a second. Um, McKellen's Lowland Single Malt is just one of the discoveries that await you on a journey into the very heart of Scotland's most celebrated whiskey region. Further taste adventures are just a sip away with our Highland, Islay, and Spaceside Single Malt. So we need to get to Islay and Spaceside, and then I'll probably do a whole video for all four of them at the same time. Um, the Islay is hailing from the Islay. From an island revered as whiskey lovers the world over, McKellen's Isla Single Malt is a hearty, full-bodied drum with strong hint of peat. And the Space Side is a spiritual home of whiskey making. McKellen's Space Side Single Malt is a fine example of the region's vibrant floral and unforgettableness. Um, this one is there's a softness of touch about McKellen's Lowland Single Malt, pale, interesting, the glass of the nose of the rush. Fuses rich floral notes with vibrantly created nutmeg and ginger, and just when you're thinking you've caught everything, a sharp hint of tangerine takes your aware unawares. But as ever, a true character of a fine single malt only comes through the palate. Here, an invigorating burst gives way to a delicate flowering of rose and honeysuckle. It is rather like stumbling upon the most fragrant sun-drenched cotton cottage garden. That's the beauty of Lowland Scott. Scotland, gentle days amid gentle scenery, ideally spent with a lovely drum in hand, and nothing to contemplate but the view. Um, they really put a lot into the descriptions on these boxes, man. Lowland, with an altogether gentle, scenic splendor, the island, the wild fringes of Scotland, the lowlands are marked by rolling hills, swaying barley, and lazy rivers. It is, in other words, perfect whiskey making country. Here in the Lowland Single Malt, we created a fragrant, fruity drum that is perfect for the nose to search of something soft and zesty. Drink smart, www.mckellens.co.uk. Imported by Beam Suntory Imported Company, Chicago, Illinois. We'll go ahead and pull that. Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful. That looks amazing. That's the box. That is a beautiful color. Definitely resembles like a light honey. You did say they did mention the honeysuckles in there. Uh, these are aluminum just cap covers. You pull this tab, you spin it around. This aluminum cap comes off first, and then it's corked. Right? Heavenly. I love the forest green though. Hunter green is one of my favorite colors also. It's real dark. Mm. The nose is very sweet, very like It's hard to say. I want to say fruity, but they definitely got that floralness in there. But kind of mostly like I don't know, it's hard. It's very sweet, almost like a wet wood smell too, so it's really there's so many different things that's going into the nose because it starts off very, very light. But the more that you add in and you try to smell more and then like you start rambling things through your head, the more you could probably pick out of it, whether it be oranges or different types of flowers, the honeysuckle, you know, it's pretty much anything. But cheers. Beautiful.
right off the bat, the first initial palette is very sweet. And then it transitions into a smokier oak with like a, a light vanilla almost, like kind of like a like toffee almost a little bit, like chocolatey. Slightly dry though, not terrible, but it's slightly dry. It does has a knife knife. It does is that's not for different. It does have a nice warmth to it that I really like that too, you know. Slight honey taste. Um it does leave like a, a coating across the palate too. So I did notice an additional taste difference from the initial taste to this one. Uh, it does linger, which I love. Sometimes I really hate getting a good drink and it just dissipates as soon as you drink it. This one, it lasts longer on the palate, has more flavor, it's a lot more bold. Um, it's not as like smoky as you would anticipate it to be, but it definitely has that real rough oak like a, a cherry oak maybe something like that but it's really nice oh, man. that is beautiful I definitely like the lowland better than the highland for sure the Highland is from a high mountain and shaded glen. Come single malt that captures the, your very essence of the region. Highland is a beautifully rounded, firm, and fruity drum. But this one, I don't know if it's the more floralness to it, the more natured side of it, but I really, really do love the taste of this one a lot more than I did the Highland. So, hey, next up, we got to get that Islay, and we got to get the, what is the other one? I could keep up with it. Uh, space side. So we gotta get the space side and we gotta get the insulin. So, and then once we get all of them, we'll pour a flight in the video and we'll compare the entire series. You guys are amazing. Remember, I buy it so you guys don't have to, I try it so you guys don't have to. So, till later, thanks until always. I'm Justin and I'm glad that you guys stopped in. So, like, comment, subscribe, become part of our huge family. We're growing every single day, whether it be numbers or knowledge. That notification bell lets you know we do go live and post videos. We go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then we post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow as we're going to jump back into Bioshock. Y'all have a blessed evening. Have a great night.